the board that, that directed us before that, before we got our own board, was very selfish. See, and uh, they, uh, they didn't realize what they were doing, you know. I'll give you an example. I might wind it up you know, like this. To give you an example, the board of trustees that we worked on there, they just gave us a small committee, you know, that uh, from the, the museum board, and uh, most of them were not very good committees, but there were a couple of good ones, you know, we had good people that tried to help us. For example, we had the, the head, the head of, uh, or Battelle was the head of uh, the school committee one time. He was very helpful, John Bash. Batch, John Batch, he was very helpful. See, and uh, I, I don't remember the, all the others, you know, but he was very good and he was helpful. <clears throat> but um, they uh, they don't rec they don't quite realize. I just tell you now. I read not too long ago, only a few weeks ago, I read a newspaper article that the museum going to expand. They're going to expand. Jesus, that's fine. That's fine. They're going to expand. Now, don't forget, the old, their parking lot north of the museum building, they took away from us. That was ours. Baton Hall was our building. We had to give it to them in order to get our own board. See? You know, we, we, we did that to help them too, you know, and they, they didn't quite realize what, what they were doing. Then, when they took the building, now this is very important, it's a very key for the future too. When they took Baton Hall away from us, they didn't use it, they didn't know what to do with it, but, and the school needed classroom. So we went over there, can we use the classroom? They as much said yes. You can use it, but it's going to cost you. So I said, well, okay, how much do we have to pay you? Now, mind you now, this really rubs against the veins, you know. Here's our building that we gave to them. Well, they forced it out of us. Then they didn't know what to do with it. We asked to use it for our students, for education. Then they said, but you got to pay for it. You got to pay for it. We didn't ask them to pay for a lot. We gave it to them because we wanted to help them. And by the way, you know, when we give them a lot, they say at least give us 17 parking spots in the north of the museum so that some faculty members, you know, come in late and they don't find a spot to park. They got to park and get to class. Give us 17 spots. And they said, okay. They said, okay, we'll give you 17 spots. It's in a, in a parking lot in front, in, it's really in back by north of the, of the museum. So we had 17 spots, maybe for about 17, 18 years, something like that. Off and on, the faculty used it. Then I hear, Tom, I hear, and that really burns the hell out of me. I hear two years ago, two years ago, the directive came from the, the museum. They chased the lad, the person that was from CCAD that parked there, chased them away. And the person said, but I'm allowed to park here. You know what museum directors who were the, said to, the CCAD person, oh, we changed our mind. I could be, I could easily get a thousand students and tell them what they're about and go over there and, and circle the museum and tell them, we want our parking lot back. You took our 17 spots, we gave you the lot. We want our parking lot back and make a mess of it. Now, what's more, see, to go back to that, the trouble with the, the museum attitude. This is very important for me to say because they got to learn this. 
The museum trustees have to learn this. You don't do those things to people. You know, very quickly, think of the French Revolution. People will not take it. After a while, it's going to explode. We had to explode back to save our necks. See? So, <clears throat> oh, God, it's, it's just, just terrible to think about it, but they did it. But now they say in this article, they're going to expand. Well, Tom asked me, where the hell are they going to expand? The school is right there. They're going to take property from the school. They say, oh, we're going to take Gray Street and all. Yeah, that's for both. They can't say we own the streets. I say the museum cannot say we own the street. If they own them, the school will own the other half. The church, you know, the church will own their side of it. The school will own the other one. At neighborly stuff, you know, we own this, we, know we work together. But they charged us, Tom, they charged us rent for the building that was ours. Now, if they want a parking lot, because they don't have a stitch of lot, they're going to start building pretty soon, they say. Where the hell are they going to park? They're going to, they're going to have a hell of a time parking with student lots because... We need the, the student, the students need to park there to get to class. If they want that, they're going to have to pay for it. Just like we had to pay for the classrooms in Baton Hall. And, and if they want to buy the lot, they're going to have to buy another lot. And if there's a building in it, they're going to have to build a new building. Because I'm, I'm just going to remind I'm just giving our own board, which I understand is very good. They're not going to be, they're not going to be fooled by this. The, 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 the board of the Columbus College of Art Design are not going to be fooled by this. See, <clears throat> they're going to have to do this, you know, in, 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 in complete honesty. See, see, you, 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 we had to pay for this. You're going to have to pay for that. You want this is part of the building here, you're going to have to put up, put up another new building over there. You just cannot expand just by telling a newspaper man to put it down. And what burned me up, they said, oh, the, the newspaper man also said that before, before they had this, very good, I mean, the president, uh, uh, Griffith, you know, uh, uh, the president of CCAD right now is very good. Very good. Sometimes I think he's too nice. They need a guy like me to deal with. They're going to have a hell of a time trying to take a, take a cent away from us. See? It's going to have to be, you want a dollar here? Give me the dollar back. You want a little building here? Build me a building. You know, we're going to have to do it the honest, professional way. And no more. I used to get for some of the trustees years ago, you know, when they were really kicking us around, and we were kicked around, I tell you. One of them used to say, you know, you have to know that the 60 families, the 60 families, I said, look, the 60 families, used to tell, no doubt did great things for Columbus. What are you going to do now? Start kicking people around? That's fine. That was, you know, the era of the family, not the, the era of people. We work together. We do things honestly. You just don't, you know, expand. With what? In the back of your mind, you're going to take some parking lot? Get that out of your head. Because that's not fair. It's not honest, and it's not fair, and it's going to backfire. Every square inch will backfire, like it's backfiring now. We gave you the parking lot. You threw us out of the 17 spots like idiots. 
could have been smart enough to say, hey, we promised them and when they gave us the lot that we would give them 17 parking spots. Leave them alone. That's a promise. No. We changed our mind. What kind of deal is that? I'm not that stupid. You may think so, but I will tell you, I'm really not.